Students can have a difficult time finding the right major for them. Sometimes it can be complicated to find a major that suits you. With the Interdisciplinary Studies major at South Dakota State University, students can make their own academic path by building their own course requirements. Today I am here with Cassidy Keck. She is a freshman from Miller, South Dakota and is majoring in Interdisciplinary Studies with a minor in Social Media. We are going to talk about what her major is like and why her major is beneficial to her. Thank you for being here with me today, Cassidy. Thanks, Hannah. I'm happy to be here. So my first question is, how did you first hear about interdisciplinary studies? So I heard about it last semester. So that was, I was a freshman then. And um, I had a meeting with my advisor and she asked how the semester was going and how I liked my major. And I wasn't really, like I didn't feel like I really belonged in the journalism major. And she suggested that I look into interdisciplinary studies because my interests were so broad and journalism kind of limited me. So I looked into that and I decided that that would be the right fit for me. When you first got to SDSU, you were a journalism major? Yes. Okay. Why did you choose to do interdisciplinary studies? I thought that interdisciplinary studies would give me the right blend of disciplines that would help me in my future. And my ultimate goal is to own a photography business. So interdisciplinary studies would allow me to um, like do the creative classes within journalism to help like spark more creativity with my photography work. And then I can also do entrepreneurial studies, like the classes within that major, to help with the business side of that. Sure. What kind of classes did you pick for your major? Choosing classes is really re- unique with interdisciplinary studies. So how I did it was I knew I wanted creative classes, so like the photo and video labs and that kind of thing. And then I also needed the business classes like personal finance and small business management. Sure. So was that uh, decision process difficult to make or did you kind of know what you wanted and it was easy for you? In a way, it was easy because I knew my interests and what I wanted to get out of it. But um, actually figuring out and sorting out like what classes and um, just like making sense of it all because it's kind of overwhelming at first to pretty much start from scratch on your own instead of going off of um, like the basic academic plans for all the other majors. Sure, and were the advisors um, easy to work with and like were they helping you in that process at all? Yeah, the advisors are really helpful. Um, My first year advisor, could only help me to an extent because there is a separate advisor for interdisciplinary studies. And so I had to meet with her and she kind of set me on the right path. And it's really up to the student what they want to do, but you have to go through the advisors to um, kind of get it approved. Absolutely. So what are your plans after graduation and how will this major help you achieve those goals? Uh, Like I said, I want to own a photography business, so I think that the classes I chose will really set me up well with all aspects of that because, like, the entrepreneurial studies that I'm going through will help me with the business side, but again, like, the photo classes, like, I'm always learning, so you really can't go wrong with improving your skills that way, too. Why should people take an interest with this major? I think it's really beneficial, personally, because you really get to create your own major, basically. And a lot of people have a lot of different interests in mind. So settling on one major can kind of be difficult sometimes. And like in one of my classes right now, it's just for interdisciplinary um, studies students. Some people combine like psychology, sociology, that kind of thing. And then there's also like there's a student that is going the pre-vet route but didn't want to do like the traditional animal science major because their interests went beyond that. So then they found their spot with interdisciplinary studies. So it's really broad. And I mean, there's honestly really no boundaries. Sure. So really, in the people in your major are kind of all over the map with their career choices. And I think that's kind of cool with interdisciplinary studies is because you really get what you make of it. And I think that's very nice for the students who don't really fit into a certain major. Yeah, I agree. And honestly, like we all learn from each other and that's what really makes it special because we're learning from so many different disciplines. So then we're more well-rounded and kind of have a different thought process than traditional students because we are exposed to everything like that. Absolutely. What advice would you give for students who are interested in interdisciplinary studies? The thing that really got me going was just choosing 
two or three majors that really interest you and then looking at their academic plans, like the required courses that go with them, and then just choose the ones that really interest you and add those to your own. And then based on that, you kind of like see your four-year plan and where you're headed and if you like it or not. And then you can also like add in your classes for your minor and see where you're at. And then I had some extra credits that I needed to fill with the electives. And then I kind of explored other majors and looked at classes within them. There was a lot that interested me outside of just journalism and entrepreneurial studies. So I chose some of those to fill in the gaps. And I think it works really well to do that. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add about interdisciplinary studies? Just that I would strongly encourage anybody to at least look into it because it's a really interesting major. And who knows, like that could be where where you belong. Absolutely. On every podcast, we like to ask the same two questions that I'm about to ask you. So what is your favorite thing about SDSU? I love Greek life at SDSU. I am a member of Ceres, and it's really fun just to like get together and have meetings and then also have socials with the other Greek chapters. So that's a really good way to get out and meet people, but also have a really tight friend group. And what is your favorite thing about Brookings? I like that it's small enough where you it's still like homey but it's big enough where there's like things to do and you don't know everybody but everybody's still friendly thank you cassidy for talking to me about interdisciplinary studies here at sdsu this is between classes thanks for listening